scratching puppies behind me and um, it seems like every time I sit on the couch and try and film Lulu's like this is my spot I'm gonna hang with you the whole time so she's right here and if it's shaking I'm sorry but uh, it is moving day and to be honest with you I'm filming right now to procrastinate <laughs> and Zach's in the background like yeah get up <laughs> it's moving day and um, I think it's because we're no longer in a camper that we're like, ah, it's fine. We'll just do everything the morning of. So it's Tuesday, it's moving day. We haven't started and we need to be out in three hours, but it's all good. It's all good. We're gonna get it done. It's not like moving in a camper. So all we gotta do is pack up the tubs. We did all the laundry yesterday. We even washed the puppies yesterday. That was a big feat, but uh, they were starting to smell a little interesting. So anyway, um, I'm looking like a whole mess, but that's okay because it's moving day. So Zach and I are headed to more downtown Nashville. We're gonna be staying in Germantown actually, um, which is from what I remember when we were here last, it's more of like a younger community and it's more like industrial modern vibe when we were there. Is that what you would say? Oh, honestly, I can't remember. We've been in so many spots. But that's what I remember of Germantown. It's definitely a younger vibe, but it's more like, I don't know, industrial is the only word I can think to name it. Anyway, um, it's a cute town. It was not our first choice. Um, we were bouncing between there and a place that was, I think, closer to where we are now. And the other big difference was the fact that we are looking at Germantown and it's a one bedroom versus up here it would have been a three bedroom Airbnb but we just didn't really like the area that the other one was in and we didn't like the Airbnb as much the Germantown one was pristine very pretty at least from the pictures that we saw and uh, we do like the vibe of that area the only other thing that's gonna be interesting with Germantown is the fact that it's like pretty much close to downtown Nashville and Zach and I have learned in our travels that we are not city people so um, that's something that we learned very early on um, that uh, downtown city life is definitely not our vibe. It's fun for a moment, but uh, it's not necessarily our vibe for living. However, I don't think we're gonna be in this Airbnb for that long. So we're looking forward to maybe getting a little bit of a switch up and then most likely um, getting back to more suburbs. So anyway, we're moving. We need to pack up. Zach's getting the kitchen done. That's what he usually does every time we move. It's like his thing because he's so good at it. Um, and then I handle all of my crap which is pretty much all of my clothes, my girl stuff, my, you know, toiletries, all of that. And it'll be a fun time. Pretty much procrastinating at this point, but uh, I'm gonna get up. We're gonna get it going, finish my coffee. We're gonna not look at this, okay? I explained this in the last vlog and I'm just as annoyed about it as you are, okay? And we're gonna keep it going. Happy Tuesday, let's move. Under street lights right next to the skyline. hit the road and that was close. <laughs> We uh, literally were like getting out the door right at 11 and the cleaning lady was showing up right at 11 because I believe somebody else was checking in this exact day. So we have decided that we should probably um, never wait till the morning of. Um, and uh, you know, you live and you learn. So we are off to the races. We are headed to Germantown. I already got a text from our coordinator, which was super nice. That guy seems really cool. And he says there's a farmer's market that's right near where we're gonna live that's open seven days a week. So that'll be fun. How do you feel? Uh, pretty good, but can we just notice this Porsche GT3 RS next to us? <sighs> you can notice it, but I, I, We'll never notice that kind of thing. Okay, cool. So we're gonna head to Germantown. We are excited to see our new digs, unload, get everything in, and enjoy our new spot.
so cute, like so cute. Um, we typically book a two bedroom or even a three, but like I said, the only three bedrooms that we saw were not in an area that we really liked. This is a super walkable area. At least that's what the gal at the front was telling us. And we can walk to the farmer's market. We can pretty much walk anywhere. She said that she never uses her car and she in fact has to go start it every now and again because she needs to just make sure it still runs. So that'll be fun. We'll be able to take the puppies, but let's check out our new digs. I just did a quick walk around and let me show you too. Oh, right when we walk in, we've got at the kitchen right here with a little island. They always leave like goodies right here. It's like, it's different every time, but we've got Oreos and pretzels and all of the things, sink, all of the like actual, all of the, you know, like kitchen utensils, things like that, that we would need. Oh my God, that, I thought that was a veggie chopper. Oh my God, that would have been so funny. Okay, we've got uh, probably dishes in here, fridge, freezer. There's a Keurig in case we ever use that. And then as we go over here, I have this on kind of a wide angle lens. So I'm sorry if my hand looks weird. We've got a little dining table and then in the living room right next to the pantry, we've got our couch and looking off into the parking garage, not awesome. <laughs> Um, and doesn't really have a balcony, but that's okay. At least we can get some natural light in. That's awesome. Look at this, this is cute. I always like am so interested in the decor that they choose. This is cute. We've got a little work from home area here, lights, TV, and then into the bedroom. Here's our bed, two nightstands, TV, a little bit of a bookshelf there, and then into the bathroom. I checked this out, it's pretty cute. Look at this, very cute. And I love the standing shower. We are always a sucker for a standing shower. We actually don't really love when there's a tub. So getting a standing shower is perfect. Big closet, toilet. And I love the aesthetics in here, very cute. Then back in through to the living area. And then the only other thing is I wanna say this is like, oh, okay, coat closet. And then washer dryer. We got everything we need. What a cute spot, I like it. Okay, uh, an hour later, maybe, bins are in. Everything is unloaded and in the Airbnb. And what I loved, because we weren't too far away from our last Airbnb in Brentwood, it was only like 20, 30 minutes, we were able to still bring with us everything that was in the fridge. And I just thought it was so funny. This is such a moment, but it's like, tell me you're a health coach without telling me you're a health coach. Look what's already in our fridge. <laughs> We are stocked full of healthy groceries and we have an entire shelf of water. And the craziest part of this is that will all be gone in probably like a day and a half, two days. Like we are such water fiends and we didn't have water when we were packing because we were trying to save it for when we went to the next place because it was a new case. And uh, we're desperate for water. And I tell you what, it's so interesting to me how, I, I mean, I really didn't drink water nearly as much as I do now before I started my health journey. But once you get in the rhythm of it, it truly is like such a lifestyle of just hydration. I'm telling you, we don't go anywhere without water. And the fact that we didn't have water this morning was like so weird for us. We both feel so dehydrated. Like anyway, we are the people that will bring our own water into the restaurant because we, you know, there's a difference. There are certain kinds of water that taste better. But uh, we are just the people that will have water wherever we go and we drink so much of it that as soon as we don't have it, it's really weird, so. Anyway, we are gonna unpack, get things going and probably do that for the rest of the day. But I just really quickly before we end out this video, wanted to make sure everybody here knows if you are brand new. I mean, I highly doubt if you're brand new, you're watching this specific video, but if you are brand new to my channel and you don't know, this is the lifestyle that we have lived for about three years now. There was about four months or so where we did full-time travel in RV life, but if you go back and watch my recent life update, you'll kind of see why we're not doing that anymore. We're back in Airbnbs and we currently book our Airbnbs through a company called Landing. So what's really cool is we literally just go through their app and because we have a membership, we can bounce from Airbnb to Airbnb. We just have to pick which one that we want. So this is the one that was available for today and moving forward. And I don't know when we're gonna move, but uh, we'll keep you guys posted when we do. We are so, so grateful that we even get to live this kind of lifestyle. It's all because our business is online. And we started this online business as virtual health coaches with Optavia right at the beginning of the pandemic.
pandemic. So it grew and now we're able to do this and we're just so, so grateful that we get to live the travel lifestyle. We obviously know the pros and the cons, especially if you're thinking about doing Airbnbs versus potentially RV life or whatever, but we're probably gonna do more content on that. But if you are looking into the Airbnb lifestyle or RV life, we do have a code down below if you guys are looking to try out landing. Landing has been such a great experience thus far and we've tried many different services for this. So landing's definitely our favorite, but I'll leave the link down below and reach out with questions if you guys are looking into this lifestyle because I highly recommend it. Otherwise, if you guys like this video, please like the video down below as well as subscribe to my channel. Tick that notification bell so that you're notified every time I upload new videos coming to you guys every single week and I cannot wait to continue this healthy journey with you. Thank you so, so much for watching. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. I've been